Hi, everyone. We're live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with GA20. Guys, thanks for being here. Yeah, dude. So uh, congratulations on the album. It's out now. It's called Lonely Soul. Lonely Soul is out in the world on Karma Chief Coal Mine Records as we speak, and we're about to hear four songs from it. Can you tell us what's happening first? This one's called Nagging on My Mind. <laughs> Thank you, guys, man. Thanks for coming and doing this, uh, sending us off into our Thursday afternoon the right way. This is exactly what I want to be doing, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, can we talk about uh, about how this record came together? Is this So you guys are Boston guys. Is this a Boston-centric uh, production? And do you bring in outside producers, or is it all done in-house, or how does it work to make a record like this? Uh, yes, we're all from Boston. Um, I actually produced the record, but we did everything right in town. Um yeah, me and Pat met each other a few years ago, and uh, he was getting in the blues at the time, and there was a point where I had a break in my schedule, so we started working on stuff, and then went to the studio just to kind of cut an EP, and it came out halfway decent, and then uh, we kept working on it and sent it to a couple labels, and uh, we're lucky enough to get lined up with Coal Mine. Nice. Yeah. Well, so how, uh, I know the answer to this question because I've been listening to the record. How different or how similar is it to what you guys, the arrangement that you're uh, doing here today in the studio? I mean, when people go out to, everyone who's watching this live stream right now, when they go check out Lonely Soul, which they should absolutely do immediately, um, what can they expect to hear in contrast or in similarity to what's happening here today? I mean, I would say it's this, just louder. Yeah, it's just the three of us. On the record, we have a few guests, Charlie Musselwhite and Luther Dickinson, but live. This is it. Two guitars and drums and Pat singing. So hopefully they like it. Outstanding. Well, dude, yes. thank you for bringing it here today. It sounds great. And there's a lot more music happening. Can you tell us what's coming up second off Lonely Soul? You know I'm right.
Nice. Thank you, guys. Man, so you are a group of dudes who are clearly influenced by heavy traditional blues, and it sounds awesome. And this room that we're in right now is a perfect room to discuss uh, heavy traditional blues influences. Just over Tim's shoulder is a, is a Buddy Guy tape. There's a ton of Junior Wells and, and Buddy Guy blues band stuff from uh, Newport back to 1968. There's just blues all at Paul Butterfield, right? I mean, it's, it's all over the place. Um, all the chess record stuff and, and muddy waters. Can you talk about some of the artists that you guys have all really bonded over and, uh, and you really love? We just named a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, like Chicago blues, late fifties, early sixties. That's, that's the stuff that started this band for us anyway. I mean, traditional raw, basically buddy guy and junior Wells are probably two of my favorite yeah, the, all time. The, the record hoodoo man blues. That's always on repeat in my playlist. I always try and fail to, sing like that and play like that so that's a big one for me uh jb lenoir is also a huge one for me uh his later stuff was mostly acoustic which you might call lighter but it's heavy it, that's heavy stuff so magic sam too otis rush earl hooker my earl man hooker. <laughs> <laughs> nice well i don't know did any of you guys get a chance to go into that room over there there's another whole room of this and jb hutto uh Junior well, the the Junior Wells and Buddy Guy stuff is uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of mid mid sixties uh, Newport stuff where that's that's the meat and potatoes of the that type of blues sound as far as this collection. So we ought to go over there and nerd out on those tapes Let's offline. Nice. Uh, there's we're only at the halfway point. There's a lot more music happening. What's happening third today? Uh, One night man. <laughs> Some days are harder, some days are gold Some days you bother, if I may be so bold Sometimes I feel like folding my hand I'll be a one-night man I'll be a one-night man I'll be a one-night man I'll be a one-night man. man I don't want no crazy, don't want to feel no shame So I, I said that we should go geek out on those tapes in the other room, which we should definitely do. However, there's probably not that much time. You guys got to get out of here and go to Terra Blues almost immediately, I would imagine, right? Very low, uh, early load in over there. We, we start at 10, but yeah, we to get our parking spot. I think yeah. it's like 6 p.m. There's like 
that's right when you can park there. For well, free dude, or thank you for doing this on show day. So you're headed over to the village. You got a show at Terra Blues, um, just just a couple blocks south of Washington Square Park tonight. Um, and there are tons of dates through February 15th. They're all at ga20band.com, um, including there's uh, there's a, a ton of exciting stuff going on. Can you talk a little bit about what's happening uh, tour wise for you guys between now and mid February? Yeah, uh, we got a couple dates. We're doing uh, New York tonight, New Jersey tomorrow. Then home for the holidays, and then we're going out on the road. Uh, we got a big stretch opening for Johnny Lang, kind of all around the country, and then filling in around those dates with our own dates. I think we end up in Austin at the end of January, come home for a few days, and then we go back out for some headlining shows coming down this way again, I think. Ben, I don't know. It's on the website. Yeah. No, that all sounds right. I've got the internet right in front of me. I should have just said it instead of quizzing you on some shit That's that I'm right. looking at right now, but that is all accurate. Good practice for me. <laughs> Um, well, cool, man. Uh, we really appreciate you guys playing here today. It sounds outstanding, and there's still another song coming up. What's happening last? Uh, you got it. Go Happy Pat. Today. This one's Happy called today. Happy Today. Thank you, guys. Um, before we send you on your way over to Terra Blues, the internet is curious about, can you give us a, a gear rundown about those little amps in the front? Do you feel like a little gear tutorial before we go? Sure, sure, I can do that. Uh, 
So, well, I'm using a Silvertone 1454 hollow body guitar. Pat, for the most part, was using an old Stratotone, also Silvertone or Harmony. And the amps, I'm using a GA20. I think that's a 1949 or 1950. I'm not sure. And uh, old Pat's using a is using my amp. It's a 1482 Silvertone. Uh, it's falling apart. We were worried it wasn't going to make it, but it made it. Well, and there, any other questions? There you are. No, oh, okay, Dave cool. Hardy of the internet. There you are. That's, oh, hey, that's Dave. what's happening. He, he does. He does all my like uh, our T-shirt design and stuff like that. So, hey, Dave. Yeah. Well, Dave's here now. He knows more about your gear, and um, and that is uh, that's where we're at, dude. Have a great show at Terra Blues tonight. Thank you again for coming and doing this, and uh, travel safely between all the tour dates between now and February fifteenth. They're all up at ga twenty band dot com. And uh, dudes, thanks. Come back anytime. Visit. All right. Anytime. Thank you. Take you up on it. Thank you.